We're in Santa Cruz, three hours south drive of Santiago in the heart of the Chilean wine region. We're staying at the Noy Blen Hotel, which we'll show you a bit about later. But today's main event is a vineyard tour. We are going to four different wineries and we're going to be sampling loads of different wine, touring the cellars. So why don't you come along with us? We booked our tour with Cold Shower Wine Tours. They organized our transport and entry to the wineries. First stop was Montgras, a family owned business established in 1993. For the first part of the tour, we were shown the vines and explored the different varieties that were planted. The guide explained the different types of grape, how they were grown, and the flavor they give. Cabernet Sauvignon. So Capsa, in this size, and Merlot in this size, right? Pass is more, uh, Merlot longer. Yeah, and plus the side of the grape. Mm. Remember that inside the grape, uh, the huge, always is clear. I'll show you that, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So the color oh. always, uh, the huge inside is clear. Yes. So the color of the wine always coming from the skin. The skin is really important because it gives the color, tanning, aroma, flavor, everything. So the skin is really important. So the idea to tasting, yeah, and compare, okay? Okay. Try uh, Merlot uh, and Cabernet, uh, Capsau, Cabernet Sauvignon, please. We then went into the cellar to learn about the winemaking process we were able to taste and smell various varieties of wine during its vinification from grape to bottle. The final part of the 90 minute tour was to taste three wines, each accompanied with a food pairing. Next stop was La Pistole, the largest winery that we visited that day. The imposing building was set high on a hill with magnificent views over the vineyards. Our guide was extremely knowledgeable, explaining not only the winemaking process, but how design features such as a gravity-powered distilling chamber set this winery apart from the others. The large oak barrels you see here have a lifespan of around six years and are swapped out in rotation to allow for an uninterrupted continuation of the winemaking process. Continuing underground, we saw where smaller barrels are stored and finished with sampling some of the produce in the cold, dark, temperature-controlled cellar.
As a special treat, we booked a table at the food and wine studio by Pilar Rodriguez. The restaurant is tiny with room for only 25 people. You can choose from three to seven courses. The menu is only in Spanish, but Pilar came round to introduce herself and talk through the offerings in perfect English. We started with a cold tomato soup and a fiery chili. Then came steak tartare. Crab salad. Malay style pork. and finally slow cooked beef. For dessert, Sai had a fruit topped biscuit and I had a chocolate brownie with coconut ice cream. The last stop of the day was Venti Squiro, another hilltop winery with beautiful views. Again, we sampled more wine whilst looking out across the far-reaching sun-soaked vines. With that, we made our way back to the hotel. Here's a quick review. Thank you.